Good morning from the beautiful Goblin Valley Campground. No, that is not our motor home. Today we are heading back east towards Denver, but first uh, let's explore Goblin Valley, shall we? Oh, by the way, that is our rental Class C motor home. It is uh, such a beautiful morning right here on the Goblin Valley Campground. The morning light really shows off all the colors of all these uh, rock formations. Let's drive uh, to the dump station first so we can do our business. And now, let's check the actual Goblin Valley. There is a trail, but uh, let's just take the car and get there faster. It is a pretty unique place. According to geologists, in the Jurassic era this was at the edge of an inland sea, and apparently the tidal sediments of sand, slit and clay became uh, all these uh, sandstone formations, which are continually changing, by the way, even today. Pretty cool place, huh? Back to the RV. Uh, way up there. And here we see more goblins. Doesn't that look like a Hershey kiss? We go north on State Route 24 and then east on I-70. Once again, we pass near Moab and later into the great state of Colorado. We also pass a Grand Junction with this view of Mount Garfield and the Colorado River State Park. Pretty soon we start seeing the foothills of the Rockies in the distance. See how the landscape slowly starts to change. We are driving along the north bank of the Colorado River uh, towards Glenwood Canyon. Our next stop is uh, Glenwood Springs, the most fun town in America, according to Rand McNally. We passed by here briefly on the way west and we liked it a lot. It is uh, contained in a valley at the confluence of the Colorado and Roaring Fork Rivers. We are getting hungry, so let's have a nice lunch, uh, some craft beer at uh, this place called The Pullman, and we'll be on our way. Not before walking off our lunch along this charming little town. Time to go. We continue heading east with the Colorado River to our right. We start going into the Glenwood Canyon region. Isn't this a magnificently beautiful area? It is considered an engineering marvel of the United States interstate highway system. I mean, they had some help from the Colorado River, which carved the canyon, but it still is truly amazing. Anyhow, enjoy the ride.
At some point, uh, there is an exit uh, to the Hanging Lake Trail, a hike we got to do some other time. And we continue driving along I-70. We encounter the skiing resort of Vail once again. We are almost at 10,000 feet, over 3,000 meters above sea level, getting close to some of the highest points in the interstate highway system. But we plan to go even higher. We are stopped here at Shrine Pass, kind of close to the Continental Divide. And um, it's pretty chilly outside, actually. We are going to take the older scenic route, US 6, at the town of Silverthorne. Unlike I-70, which uh, crosses through the Eisenhower Tunnel, US-6 goes even higher over the Continental Divide at the Loveland Pass. This road is used mainly by trucks carrying hazardous materials, which are prohibited from using the tunnel, and also cyclists, hikers, or people like us who want to enjoy the scenery. Remember that beer I had back at uh, Glenwood Springs? Big mistake. As we climb above 11,000 feet, or almost uh, 3,400 meters, I start feeling the symptoms of a mild altitude sickness. You know, I start feeling lightheaded, short of breath, with nowhere to pull over, by the way. Wish me luck. Eventually we find a place to pull out, and I drink copious amounts of water and start feeling better. We finally make it to the top. We are here at the Continental Divide, with a little bit of altitude sickness, 11,990 feet. It's kind of cold. Yep, it's pretty cold up here at 11,990 feet or 3,655 meters above sea level. The feeling perhaps intensified by my mild altitude sickness. I'm feeling better though. Down and down we go. I'm actually kind of cool with the fact that I got altitude sickness. I was always kind of intrigued, curious by it, and wanted to know how it felt like. Not the best idea while driving, but at least now I know. We rejoin I-70 and continue heading east, but we are not quite going to Denver yet. We have until tomorrow morning to return the RV, so let's spend the night in the mountains, shall we? By 
Idaho Springs, uh, we take State Route 103 up to Echo Lake, uh, which is about halfway up to Mount Evans, which is the highest paved uh, road in the USA. And uh, here we are, Echo Lake, pretty isn't it? To the right uh, we see the lodge and uh, we arrive to our primitive campground. Take a look at this beautiful sunset. Ah, let's go back. We make uh, some fire and uh, call it a night. In the next video, we will explore Denver and its uh, surroundings, and in the one after that, we will climb Mount Evans through the highest paved road in North America. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Bye now.